guys, Bob Wright here. What I want to talk to you about today is, uh, in general, air purification, air purification technology. And uh, just a little background about myself. I've been in the air purification industry for 15 years. Um, I was with a company that we marketed a fabulous product. It, it, for, for, that, for that 15 years, we, I sold thousands and thousands of machines. Um, and I, I, I'm also a certified uh, air purification specialist. I have mold uh, inspector criteria uh, credentials. And I, I only tell you that so that you understand and you know that I was a serious practitioner of this industry. I understand the technologies. I know what works, what doesn't work. Uh, and I, I've seen them all. I've seen the passive air purifiers and the filter systems that virtually don't work and the induct systems that, that work on what passes through the ductwork. And I won't go into all that detail at this moment, but uh, just to tell you that um, I, I understand and know this industry like the back of my hand. Uh, I was a top producer in the company um, I was with uh, for, for, for 15, of the, 15 out of those 15 years, I was a top producer in, in sales and um, also in business building. So I understand this and that's really the reason I, I just want you to understand that. Um, We've learned some things recently and with a new kid on the block. This is the technology I'm going to talk about mostly at the end of this, uh, this viewing here. Uh, but first I want, to, I want to show you some of the products that we marketed back then. And you may recognize these because it was a very popular technology. Um, the first thing that we, the first product that I ever actually purchased and, and bought and, and started the market was this little one right here. It's the XL15. This is, a, this is the original machine, the two-plate model. I still run it in my home. I love the technology. I use a couple of the other machines in my home as well uh, from the same company and the same technology. Um, and I wouldn't be without it. it. It's a fabulous technology for getting rid of odors, for breaking down mold and mildew uh, problems in the basement or in, throughout the entire environment. Uh, unbeknown to us, as we were marketing this, um, we were, we were led to believe that it would eliminate all the dust in the environment. And uh, we sold it that way. And we didn't have meters to measure uh, at that time, but we, we felt that it did a fairly decent job. And so we sold on that premise for years and years. Um, recently, we found out some things I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you in a moment uh, that they really didn't do a lot with air, uh, airborne dust particles, but we have, we have a solution to that now. But again, I wouldn't be without this technology, even with the new stuff in my home, uh, for a simple reason of what it actually does. So uh, they, they kind of complement each other. So anyhow, this was, a, this was, the, uh, this was the, the main product that we sold for years. And, and then we upgraded to the new fresh, the fresh air machine, which now a new company has an, a product very similar to this that has been improved even above this. So it, it's all very good technology. Um, this is a commercial unit, uh, and these both are actually commercial units. This is the Eagle 5000 that I run in my basement, and uh, it does a great job down here for the odors and the, the mold and the mildew and musky odors in the basement. It does a great job for that, but it, uh, it's not doing such a great job with dust particulate. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you now, and then we'll lead into the new technology, the new kit on the block that I call the new kit on the block. And now this is a prototype. This isn't actually... The, the, the unit that you would receive uh, when this thing is available and, and it, it will be available in just a couple weeks it'll be ready to ship in just a few weeks uh, with the new design and the new casing and all that this is just a prototype that we got to do demonstrations with and show people what it was uh, pre-launch of the company so without with uh, with that said what I'm going to be doing here uh, what we have now is a particle counter this particle counter um, measures the uh, airborne par particles in the air, and the measurement that it gives you, it gives you at, at one micron um, measurements on the left-hand side to your left, and on the right-hand side it gives the three microns or larger particles, and it tells, that just tells you how many particles are in the air. Um, the, um, the one on the left is the one we're gonna concentrate on, and that is um, the very small particles, the ones that actually irritate the upper respiratory uh, track in the system, okay? Um, right now, with none of the machines running, we're at about 114, um, 114, 115 is the measurement, and now you have to add two zeros to that. Okay, so you're at uh, 11,500 11, 11, 
particles of air, dust, particulate, airborne particulate, in every one foot cubic centimeter of air. Or, I'm sorry, one cubic foot of air, okay? So if you times that by the amount of footage, square footage in your house, it's an astronomical amount of airborne particles floating around in your air with nothing in, uh, uh, on, no, no air purify, purifying technology uh, on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn, I'm going to put this in front of the, the XL15, which was our biggest selling unit um, at, at when the company started. And we sold thousands of these machines sold thousands of these machines, thousands, uh, before we came out with the newer fresh air technology. And um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the uh, particle counter went up, actually went up to 165, 167. So it's bouncing around about there, about 167, 168. It was 114 with nothing on, so it actually went up. Uh, because and, and that uh, that is uh, part of the technology is the airflow of the what's happening is the air coming out of this with a fan running the air is coming out and actually mixing um, the air up so it's actually causing um, more airborne particulate to be directly around the unit okay so same thing with the commercial unit we'll do the same thing I guess I can show you that It's actually improving a little with the bigger machine. But keep in mind, this is a commercial unit. It's not designed to be made in the house, but uh, it was, it's designed to put in uh, bars, restaurants, lodges, and things like that, where there's a lot of people smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. So uh, it's actually at about the uh, 123, 120 mark. It's about 120 mark. Again, add the two zeros to the end of that, and you've got uh, quite a lot of airborne particles still floating around in the air with this air machine on. Um, I'm going to go over here to the uh, the newest technology, which is fresh air. Fresh air is uh, it's actually worse than any of the original technologies, and it was supposed to be an improvement over the old technology. We're up over 400 already uh, on the particle counter, so you can see that if you add that, that's if we're over 500 now, uh, and in the airborne particles with the fresh air machine running. Um, again, it's a great technology for getting rid of odors, it's a great technology for uh, breaking down uh, contaminants in the air, but as far as airborne particles, the things that bother your respiratory system, it's not a good technology to use for that purpose. Again, I would use this technology in my home every day, along with the newer uh, technology that I'm going to show you right now. All right, we're actually over 900, we're, we're over 1,000 now. So I'm going to stop there. There's no sense of going any further. It's, it's over 1,000, and, and it's an astronomical amount of airborne particles. Okay, so let's shut this off, and let's talk a little bit about our new technology called Silent Night. I just turned it on. Silent Night, as it implies, is an absolute silent machine. Uh, there are no fans in this machine. It, it produces a... Um, uh, a, a a zephyr breeze is what they call it. It it it, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't. What that means is it's not creating an airflow that mixes the air all up. Um, well, let me look at it. It's a it's a laminar airflow, which which means it, it doesn't swirl when it comes out of the machine. Like when you have the fan, it blows the air out and it swirls everything up. That's why you're getting a higher reading with these machines than with the airborne particles. With this machine, it's, it's what they call a zephyr breeze, and it, it just it actually just comes out of the machine uh, without any swirling motion, and it just attacks the airborne particles and eliminates them. Um, we're all the way down to 11. This is most likely going to zero out um, in just a couple seconds, and it, it's only been on for well since I just started talking to you about it. This is an absolute amazing technology for, uh, we put this in our bedroom just to test it out. We put it on the headboard right above where we sleep, right behind us, and literally cannot hear it run at all. And um, 
the room smells fresh. When we walked into the bedroom, my wife even noticed when she walked into the bedroom, she said, wow, it really smells fresh in here. Uh, it really, I, I wasn't expecting that part. But um, the, the, the airborne particles are down to two, all right? It'll probably go to zero. Uh, but even at that, from, six, from over 1,000 here, from uh, 130, 140 here, uh, down to two, just by turning this on in a few seconds. You can see very clearly that this technology for airborne particles is, is, the, is the new phenomenon in the industry. It's the new kid on the block. It's, the, it's going to be a big, big deal uh, as soon as they're ready. They'll be ready in a couple weeks um, for shipment. We'll actually have them in stock. We'll be ready to ship them out pretty soon. Um, the price on a single unit is $429. You can buy two units for uh, $729. Um, you can get two of these for the price of one of the, for less than the price of one of these. Uh, so, hands down, it's a great technology. I'm looking forward to uh, talking to you some more about it. You can, you can click the link below to contact me, and uh, I'll be glad to talk to you more in depth about it, uh, a little bit more in depth about the technology if you'd like. Uh, but really, hands down, you can see, uh, we could actually come into your, own, your home and measure the air for you, so show you what's in your air, and see if this isn't something that you want to add to the protection of your home and your family. Thank you.